Right, how are you guys doing? Welcome to Entertainment News right here on YTF4 TV. My name is Philine at Philine Jean across all socials. Thank you so much for staying with us. I mean, a hundred channels and you choose to stay with us. We don't take it for granted. Now, the hashtag is YTF4 Update. And if you don't know what the show is all about, let me tell you just now. We're all about Udaku. We have tea and we are serving it hot. Are you ready? <laughs> we have a crazy pan list. They're going to be helping me break these stories down. Some are home, some... Okay, one is here in studio. So let's he meet him first, then go over to those guys at home that are, going, are joining us virtually to say hello. But first things first, Mwangis, what's up? What's How up? you doing? <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's always a good time. Apart from Najibamba. And as we always say, we have a chai to don't dare. Udaku ni minji. All right. Yes. I go by the name Dennis Bob Minor across all social media platforms. Thank That's you. what's up. And like I told you, we have other guys at home joining us virtually. I'm going to be starting with our very own Sassy JC. What's up? Hi, JC. <laughs> Thursday. Hey, what's up, people? Today is Thursday. Na kama kawaida, stay tuned to Kona Story. Na udaku kama kawaida iko kwa wingi. So, msi toke hapo. Don't touch the dial. Right. And I have Ronald. Ron, itakwaze. <laughs> hey, what's up, people? Back in the studio, as usual. My name is Ronald Royce, or simply Royce. Just follow uh, the directions that are given by WHO. Definitely, that's what you're doing. This lockdown thing just got us going back to the Stone Age period. I'm getting hairy and hairy and hairy. I don't talk in usually hepa. But anyway, stay safe, stay home, wash your hands, and please always wear your mask. And that's what's up. Now, that is Ronald and Jesse. They're going to be helping us break these stories down. And of course, not forgetting our very own Dennis Bob Miner, or as we call him, Mwangi, is right here. The hashtag is Y254 Update. Now, let's go over to our first story. Now, radio presenter, come singer, Tanasha Dona, claims to have sued my. Mujaku, a famous Tanzanian radio presenter, for claiming to be the real father of Donna's baby, Narsib Jr. Mujaku has been all over social media saying he is the father of Tanasha's son and not Tanzanian singer Diamond Platinum's. Now, singer Racy, Racy, a Tanzanian singer Racy, has, however, was, however, not impressed with Mujaku's allegations and called him out for disrespecting Tanasha on her Instagram, where Tanasha replied, and I quote, Empty vessels make the loudest noises, you know? Empty. He will be receiving a letter from my lawyers soon. On hearing this, Mijaku has now changed his statement, saying that he was misquoted and that he never said he was Nasib's biological father. According to him, back in Kigoma, where both him and Diamond Platinums come from, people call each other brothers, sisters, and your brother's child can also be yours. We have a video. Nitapija magoti mpaka Kenya. Napija magoti mpaka Kenya na watu wangu wote wanaoni follow, wanaonipenda tutapija magoti tukaombe radhi kule Kenya. Kwa sababu huwezi kumlazimisha mtu aamini mila zako na desturi zako kisa tu wewe unaziamini vingine kazi hivi vibaya. Hata sheria. Sheria ikisema ulimsababishia uli, 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 uli damage ya moyo. Right. So that is Mijaku. Na anasema at he will kneel. All the way to Kenya, kuomba Tanasha msamaha, akikata kumsamea. So, but, but I don't agree with him because you don't go around messing with people's lives like that. How many did they know? Umjamaa njua kitu wanasema. Umjamaa. Umjamaa kala njua kitu wanasema. Sijiko umeola foto za umjamaa. Umeola picha. Kwa za ilo picha inya tumetumia tu kwa isho. Yeah? Photocopy. Photocopy. Hivi na hivi. What? As in. That guy knows what he's saying. He's just nah, saying this is no way. I'm squeaking. At the wrong time, no. place. Let me tell you something. What you're too funny now. How come to make him do go and say man, you are going to liquidity? So he's saying man, I'm going to liquidity. Now that he's grown, I'm going to say, what do you change sura all the time? I'm going to make him do go. To make him do go. No, 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 no. no. So what are you trying to say? Me, me, villa, I say man, you come. But the guy said it at the wrong time, at the wrong place. The man come. Unajua ni wako tafadhali tafuta mama yake mwelewane. Hii story ya kuzumbuka social media hapo ndo shida ilikuja msi. Wee! 
Okay, okay, okay no. <laughs> These people have no chills. <laughs> JC, JC, what's happening? I didn't know what I'm saying, Sasa. JC. So the man who claimed that uh, Tanasha, um, to Tanasha Niwake, the radio personality of Tanzania, I mean, I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going But that was so bad. That was so bad, especially the fact that Tanasha alikuwa metoka kwa breakup na Diamond. That was not the right thing to do. Hiyo ilikuwa vibaya. And I'm happy how RAC came through. I'm just happy. Wase wa showbiz kubado kuna wala watu wenye wanataki ya nanga. Yeah. And uh, for Tanasha, I'm happy for our girl anyway. At least she has won this. Yeah. I'm with JC on this one. You know, women always stick together. Yeah. Always equal. Only your mother knows who's the baby's father is. Now, yeah, yeah, I'm a same I'm total new diamond. Since I come here, I'm a total new diamond. I'm total new diamond. Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Philip, when, when it comes to kids, let's not play around with people's kids. Yes, because. Whatever this guy did was so much uncalled for, it's so barbaric, it's unethical. You cannot take someone else's uh, kid and then play around with their photo like the way it is. That's what we normally advise people on social media. Don't play around with your kid or posting your kid's photo on social media. There are people out there who are not uh, there for any good reasons. They will always just want to tarnish your name or use that to benefit themselves their own uh, selfish gains now look at this guy he has to apologize to tanasha donna i know diamond is also going to demand for uh, for apology now unajo diamond venya kona pesa uja mata ena kukula maragwe committee at tz which is not a good thing so when it comes to kids maze let's just reserve our comments and photos let's not kids photos on on social media it's you see, I'm with Ronald. As we're talking about kids. Unajua wa una mtoto? Unajua aje? Unajua aje? Mwenye najua. Exactly. No, but you don't have, you don't have any kids. Well, I don't have kids. You don't have kids. We know this. Because, but, but it's very personal to me because I'm a woman. So you don't talk about people's children like that. It is personal. And, and like, because of that statement you have used, is that why I'm saying that man knows what he's saying? No, 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 no. I do not agree with you. <laughs> Tanasha, just go ahead. It doesn't matter come on my apologies or not. Sue him. No, next time what to do it. Don't play with people's emotions and feelings. And now what to do now in social media, right? Okay, and on that note, you're going to go to the next story. <laughs> Hater. Hater. All right, now, <laughs> social media has been abuzz with a trending video of a Ugandan pastor, Franklin Mondo Mogish of Empowerment Christian Center Church International bashing all those that waste their time in gyms working out. Now according to him, people who work out can never be rich because most of their time is spent in the gym and that it has never uh, and that he has never rather seen a billionaire with a six pack. Well, I'm sure you can name a few <laughs> but before then, just let, let's play with the video, right? <laughs> Look at boys who spend their time in the gym. I have never seen any man who is a Kanyama. No, six pack for who oh God's sake. Let me tell you how it is. I've never seen a man with six pack who has a billion who's a billionaire. He's not there. But there are very no Kanyama who is a billionaire. They are all broke. They are all walking on the border border. They are using taxi. You find them in the taxi park when like they are all brain is in the chest. So going back. I don't think it's right to look for a man who spends his eight day eight hours in gym lifting. What do you think that boy is thinking? He's thinking about sexy, sexy, good girl. Oh, Kanyama. <laughs> It's a wrap. We should go home. We should go home right now. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I, 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 I'm 
I'm gonna he's actually a pastor. That I'm, I don't know. But what do you think? What do you think? Let me start home. I'm gonna start home. Ronald! I'm a JC, JC, yeah? Let me start with girls first. So JC, hi. Uyu pastor, ana make uh anataka kusema watu okay bodybuilders ni what that is body shaming once anafanya hivyo ndio a feel good about himself he's doing that to feel good and to tell ndio ajiambie he's okay the way he is that that is bad maze mimi sijui by the way inaelekea wapi anymore i i cannot understand anything anymore that was so wrong the video trended the first thing niliona kwanza vile niliona ina started group and i was like wow mtu wako na audacity so i didn't even understand it until filin so sa tukaanza ku discuss kwa group but that was bad hiyo si poa watu kuna wase kuna wase wameunga na wako na do there are people who, who are builders and they have money lots and lots of money that was bad you shouldn't body shame someone else and you will feel good about you and yet tuonge kweli yeye ndio anafaa gym that was bad that was totally bad <laughs> right i don't even understand what's happening to you're not alone like anyway ronald i'm gonna go out to ronald alafu tarudi kwa kwa ndeno like but right now ronald works out by the way so ron <laughs> okay but see brag but that means you're gonna six pack sawa and i know i'm not a billionaire but now this guy cannot be able to lectures on uh on on on, on being a millionaire you, you you don't have to have a six pack We can be able to mention these guys. Ronaldo, a well known uh, footballer, mwenye mena Juventus hai. This guy has got six pack and is a millionaire. From his own backyard, Jose Camillion has got six pack. This guy is a millionaire. Now, the person who is lecturing us on uh, uh, going to the gym and kupanda uh, boda boda. This guy looks like a caterpillar. In fact, in a fast yonge, yeah melelewa na pesa za za sadaka. He is not supposed to lecture us on anything. Let him first go to the gym. I uh, tone down after turning down all this fat. Joki anguka sasa tunachata mafuta. Ah, situongelesha hivyo. Hata mimi azi, zi. Nimejam kwanza. Hata kwanza wacha ni ni flex six pack. Bro na mekata ni story. But then upasia na kawalewa na mbianga wase at like just pray about it. If you have a weight problem, just pray about it. It will go away. That's not true. If you need to lose weight, Do it the right way. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Musi like really Dennis. Musi na mimi pia wewe una support you pastor by the way. Okay, uh, being that I'm the representative of the middle people hapo katikati. Um, I I really wouldn't say um uh, working out or anything is a measure of you being a billionaire or something. See you know me. Me how how going to the gym. But hey, uh, we also work out. Eating is a workout, walking is a workout. But we do it, we do it. Mm-hmm. That guy is just a lazy person. Very lazy. <laughs> Now when I from how I am thinking u jamani kama alikuwa unajua uh, he looks like a guy who has been smashed at Rwanda by a muscular guy. Ndio maana kuna beef na so kuna maoni. Ni kali na nyoka demi. U jamani. Ndio is lazy ama kuna beef na so muscles. You know. Sindio. Where is coming from? People should concern a corona people need to work out exactly. you need to boost your immunity there's nothing wrong with working out why okay i understand like people body shame people who have like uh, obese people what wanna people have a problem with them unapatanga mtu anaanza ku body shame asa maybe amekuwa body shamed now he's retaliating i'm on what we body shame enough so now he has to body shame in those who work back. out yes <laughs> it's like it's time to send her yes why are you body shaming me <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's no way maybe he's been called like yeah you know like maybe you you're a bit overweight so as a, you're calling me overweight when you you work out you don't have money you you spend all your time in the gym like what <laughs> no but, but but actually just you don't have to be at just 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 be okay work out to be comfortable in your own skin you don't have to be at a certain weight or a certain like a at way a certain um number of kgs no quite you go fit but just work out to feel good about yourself it, it's good it's, it's good to measure of being wealthy Put yeah a exactly but you see what come like you obama and jina ivi but he has money you know you, you see cristiano ronaldo do you know how much he is worth hey. like just stop hey, now hey, six pack by the way you know what you know, you know. <laughs> we, we are talking about real people here you know 
Yeah. All right, so let's go to the next story. Now, the hashtag remains YTF for updates, right? Now, Tanzanian Big Brother Season 9 winner, Cam Comedian um, Idris Sultan, has finally been released from prison after eight days. After posting a bail of 15 million Tanzanian shillings, that's around um, 650,000 Kenyan shillings, with a hearing scheduled for June 9th. Idris was arrested last week for claims of cyberbullying and owning a SIM card not registered on under his name. Before his arrest, Sultan posted a video of him laughing at a throwback photo of Tanzanian President John Pombe Magufuli. And we have a video. <laughs> Laughing, but here's the thing. Ushu na mtu na checka piu na zaku checka. No, but that for, but that photo is funny though. You, you picture. <laughs> okay, be nice, be nice. Please, we don't want to apologize for a whole week, so please be nice. <laughs> It's been seen before. Mm -hmm. But anyway, Makufuli. Oh, he looks funny though in that suit. He looks <laughs> But anyway, bro, Sijali, when you go on the wrong side of the government, this is what happens. Maze, when you go up again, almost everyone has a SIM card that is not registered under their name. I'm not so uko kwenu. So I don't understand how that was a crime anyway. You but anyway, Sijali, government can put you on something, anything. Yeah. But Kenya to Kenza Kushiko. I don't see your SIM card making fun of prominent people. Means Zilla Zilla make you hang up a Kenya. Like, I think they'll, they'll have to arrest everybody. Like, literally, every single millennial will be arrested. But that's from me and Danny. Let's go home. JC, what's up? <laughs> okay, Kichekoya Idris, ni contagious. And then the fact that haungei ni picha tu ameweka hapo so ujijazie if you are that person when you are na watu wengine wakicheka you you definitely laughed at that aga is funny hata hiyo picha ya magufuli okay ni tbt it's allowed kukua vile iko juu hata sisi zingine zetu zilikuwa zinakaa venye zinataka juu tulikuwa tunakaa venye tunataka hizo times lakini kicheko yake ni contagious cyber bullying hizo ni charges kubwa sana simply because he's the president na akakuja Kenya aki aone how people what people do on twitter like if you'd look at twitter what Kenyans do there mpaka mna make memes na na picha ya president wenyu ane anaweza give up basi kila almost three quarter of population ya Kenya inaweza basi kuwa jailed that is that it was just funny hiyo kitu ni funny hata sasa hii hiyo video ni funny <laughs> Ronald, Ronald, what's up? <laughs> yeah, Magufuli never ceases to amaze us. Yeah, the other time Muliski, uh, there was a local media station in Yelko Machine, uh, Iki apologies for a whole two weeks, June two weeks, summer one week. Because Magufuli will always do anything. So many quarters, Shanga Kuni, uh, Zilla Freedom Z, to look at my pigani, squeezes it quapi. Now look at that photo. Your photo by the way, Angela Vizuri. Um say, um say, I go comment. This guy just laughed. And she never talked. She can't even machine. She can't check her like Angela. You creep. But anyway, I put you Angela. You quoti. You make a fool of me, Vama. I make you quoti me, Vama. Make a fool. You long in Angela Vizuri. Long in a casual and in his a zakisiagi. When I zile kuni zakisiagi zile una piganga ivi. In the Unga talking, and you look if you suit. By the way, let me make it clear, yeah. Those are the opinions of Ronald and JC, and they know they don't have anything to do with the white two five four. Anyway, 
let's go to the next story, right? Now, <laughs> okay. Popular Nigerian police officer Abayomi Shogule recently took to his Twitter page to narrate about a soon to get married couple. I'm assumed to get married couple, the police officer in his posts disclosed that the couple had slated their wedding for the second week of the coronavirus lockdown. Now, due to the laws against the social gathering, the groom's family also suggested that things should be kept in a law with just 10 family members in attendance. <laughs> However, the bride's family refused to offer, uh, refused the offer rather, and opted for an indefinite postponement of the ceremony. Unfortunately, when while all these things were going on, the groom reconnected with a former lover who came visiting and got stuck in his house due to the interstate lockdown. Now, unfortunately for the bride, the husband-to-be has gotten his ex-lover pregnant and now the bride has been hospitalized due to shock. You know? Sasa, by the corona, 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 corona. How many times did I call you? Yeah? It's your marathon too. Corona, we shit a fadali, eh? Yani, Corona, these people are engaged. They were supposed to be married. Alafu Corona happened. Alafu wakasema. So, family Ademi kasema, by the way, I know to rush V2, we'll have to have a big wedding. I know that for us, like inviting 10 people, you know? So, after that, see, family Ademi wame katatu watawana after Corona. Boy na eggs, you are locked down, ako nini, ako solo, ex do you may come through, kidogo kidogo, ako na ball, na sezo kuna fiance ako uko, say ako who see shockment. What is going on? Like do you know what is happening? To disema, e corona in a kuja kusa fish a mamma. Corona in a kuja no advantage as you give. <laughs> you never know. Mm -hmm. you, never, you know, for you to get your ex uh, paged, it means one way or the other you had feelings for her, she had feelings for you. Mm -hmm. I hear the to lockdown, okay, she came visiting who? I see them only to visit ex worker who's a boy. Boy mwenye yenda na fuck kwa mwana harusi. That's the thing. Yeah. The, the lady the ex akatoka kwenye alitoka. Yeah. Akakuja ku visit uwe uwe chali. Yeah. Just like that. I think they're in the same neighborhood. Yes. Jubili kwa na ile inter. Unaona vile sasa Nairobi is lee iko under lockdown, yes. right? So tuseme sisi wote ni is lee mimi na ex wangu. Alafu sasa dem yako anatoka another place. Maybe anatoka umo. Unaona? Ndiyo mimi mi nauliza. Mm -hmm. Uo dem, uo ex, alitoka huko, mm -hmm. haka kuja hadi kuhuyo, alikuwa na kuja kuomba maji. Ah, wae. Alikuwa na kuja kuomba maji. <laughs> hii story, hii story. Wae, wae tu kwa na siyasa mingi. Wae, 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 Chill, chill. Wanajua. Let's go home first, then come back to you. Just stories ako azitaisha. JC, JC, what's your take on this? <laughs> na COVID-19 imefanya watu wa, wa, wapitie. Sasa, uo msichana arusi yake imepotelea hivyo tu ama sasa mnaona aji. Like, it's just gone. Like, it will never happen. Simply because, uh, uo sis mungine alikuja, akafungiwa uko. <laughs> eh, lakini watu wa Nigeria, one day, they will kill us or they will finish us. Eh, hey, eh. Hey. Arusi sasa imefika mwisho ama. But this this is a lesson to parents. Why why do you come in between your daughters when they want to get married? Yet still hamkuwa hapo wakijuana na huyo mtu. Mtu aende akatry na akatry na ule mwenye anataka kutra. If if it doesn't work, see you just you can easily walk away ama muachane ama eh hey, sasa huo mchana amepotelewa hivyo tu. I that, that, that's bad for the girl. Apo ni mschana, mschana mwenye likuwa olewe ya melunzi. The ex has won. Yeah, she has won. Panza, ya na kwa mbe ni kama uh -uh. drama, ni kama uh -uh. movie. It looks like, fra, like, 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 I don't know, a, a movie story. It looks like a story from a movie. But first things first, Ronald, what's up? What are you doing, guys? <laughs> but let me tell you something, Philly, no? Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think there's anything wrong. So, I'm going to wedding. But now, they never wedded because of the pandemic. So, because the uh, government has a lockdown all the regulations that we are supposed to follow the WHO. This guy begged the family literally, why is he a wife? Why uh, is he a my bride? At least, when this thing is all over, then, he's a wedding. 
But what happened? The family kakata. Now this guy goes home. Kuna lockdown and then the ex amekuja kumtembelea. Akalokiwa down ndani ya nyumba. There's no social distancing when it comes to relationship, right? It happened. Now they are going to have a kid, but I have an advice to that guy. Two is better than one. So I know why mwingine pia mleto mweke kwa nyumba. Anyway, 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 hashtag white pepper update. But for me, his story imekuonyesha, baadhi imemuonyesha ukweli. In the long run, maybe won't get divorced. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Corona so, on to on to the next one. Come down, come down, relax. Studio. All right. Now, fans of KFCB boss Ezekiel Mtua were treated to a different attire other than the normal suit and tie. Mtua is known for his office look and having a rather uptight personality, but this time round he posted a photo in shots which came as a shock to many. <coughs> Lena Skykai was among the people who didn't see it coming and ended up sarcastically welcoming Mtua to host the 10 over 10 show. So, maze mtu wa any two to at least in a three weeks before to angle mtu wa kwa isho. As he came to any, he he has a VIP seat on this. Okay, it's not a table, but kwa i this area, this area of serenity, ya udaku. But aya kwa i tiro exactly, exactly, it's a tiro. So finally, he got he got Aliva kitu different, and people did not expect that. So let me just sample some of the comments. Until when are you dropping the album, Papa? Just so. Hey, Buddha. At so sad to end there. That is Glenna Skykai, 10 over 10. Great starter pack for new host. You know? And then at you joke a lot. As you can do a joke a lot. But I was not expecting this from him. At him ever shot. I didn't have a coffee. I didn't have a coffee. I didn't have a coffee. I didn't have a drop album. At you have a artist to a gang. <laughs> and then someone else is saying sisi kama wakamba hatunanga mchezo na ngeli ya color clashing you oh, know ati leo umekuwa odiwa morani lakini ni nini usumbua wa kenya wote wana chills but then unajua likuwa meka hiyo photo alafu mm-hmm. uh, there's this app that you can put a photo and then there's song in the background i don't know so apparently mm-hmm. alikuwa meka song ya wabebe ya gwash <coughs> excuse me yeah. ya wabebe ya gwash that was what yeah. he was listening to actually <laughs> Alikuwa nasikiza wa bebe, mm-hmm. ati wa bebe, skiro. That was what that guy was listening to. So, <laughs> si, 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 si nja stuka kwa mwana. Au nja stuka. Huyu jama. Ya yeah. mwana ni mse. Mm-hmm. Huyu jama ni publicity. Nge ni mse fiti sana wa publicity. Yeah. So what he's doing, looks mm-hmm. like he's, he, he's a supporter of the local artists. As much as he's a, a guy who also bans them, mm-hmm. he actually does them a favor. Yeah. Bans them, talks about them, everyone listens. Everybody knows who they are. Yes. Oh, Back at home, what's up? Ronald, I'm starting with you this time round. Itakuwaje? Hey, Felin, you know, Ezekiel has always wanted to, to ban 10 over 10 show from Citizen TV. And if you look at the way Lena Skykai was putting it, uh, Lena Skykai was making fun of him. Because this guy, amekuwa kitakatu kutuwa hiyo show because it was promoting some sexual act, according to him. But now, uh, Linda Skekai was putting it in such a manner that he is welcoming him to now the Wabebe slogan. We are with Siraburu. Una have a new one. I'm going to go to the new If at all that is the new normal because of the pandemic and the coronavirus thing, I think Mazer uh, really took a suit. The suit suits him well than uh, the casual wear that he, uh, he got on himself. I think, uh, uh, let him st- stick to suits. Suits is in a... <laughs> they keep telling you guys, <laughs> all these comments, as a game too, if you happen to see this, it's not why 254's opinion, <laughs> the opinions of Ronald, yes? <laughs> but Jesse, what's up? <laughs> so, we are at it again. <laughs> Mutu alisema wabebe, eee, eh, ilinibamba, nimi nilifurahia. Because the same guy last year was saying that we boycott 10 over 10. That, it's just funny. I don't know if it's the COVID thing that has changed uh, people's perspective. Do even him responding, like nowadays if you check his Twitter, the way he's retweet, he's replying, uh, it's just funny. Like, um, <laughs> it's funny and I'm happy 
how vile ali respond he didn't come out rude he didn't come out to show his authority ali flow na hiyo convo and that was amazing that was perfect yani la kwambia my youth ni zake mtu wako hivi any they can never meet they're like oil and water unajua hazipatani hata kidogo now but but now on a series not though like um i want to talk about um uh this guy George Floyd you've heard about it mm-hmm. it happened in the US kuna black ali shootiwa and not not short actually um what happened is that he kulikuwa na call in the US ukipigo hivi askari wana come through so there's someone who reported him askari waka come kukuja huyo askari instead ya kumshika apeleko jela alikuwa na mharas alafu akamkanyaga ma akamkanyaga na magoti kwa shingo you know so this guy was gasping for air and mambo i can't breathe for a whole three minutes a whole three minutes how do you do that to someone it is very sad and now there's the hashtag it's back black lives matter it's a whole movement and it's a sad story everybody's talking about it masele bwa majua maongelea kadi bi beyonce lebron hapa kenya janet mbugu actually posted about it eh no kenya ni nani wanamwambia to stop being a hypocrite you know ati it's a hypocrite ati ni hypocritical because such things happen in kenya and no one talks about them but it's just a matter of uh, police brutality what do you have to say about that yeah. and racism because majuni racism but police brutality applies both maju and in kenya as well what's your opinion i'm i'm very sorry to what happened to george um, yeah. may he rest in peace and to the family my condolences it's yeah. it's a very sad thing something somebody said is that um, in the um, i think it's will smith or i don't know who he said that uh, black <laughs> Uh, what's it called uh, this uh, violence against the blacks by yeah. the police it's not that it has started or it has increased it's just been filmed it's it's always been there but say what one, people are filming yes. it so do you know it's so unfortunate i was scary when they took he, 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 they knew he was dying akapelekwa hosi instead of pelekwa prison so when they were asked wakasema the ones who responded to the call wakasema it is just like um, it's a it's a health emergency so video kutoka that's when everybody knew the truth and they've been fired but being fired is not enough i feel like there's something more should be should be done but the, the, the thing that actually pains me the most is to, to see there is actually another video right final comments as we yeah. wrap up yeah there's actually another video that came out and it's very sad whatever happens should never happen it's the same way CC upper Kenya being poor is a crime being black is a crime so i hope this can change i go by the name Dennis Bob Miner across all social media platforms tafadhali tuendelee ku keep safe social distancing na tuoge mikono i'll see you again next week so don't go away hey that's what's up <laughs> now here's the thing that um judge floyd story it's yeah. very sad if you haven't seen the video i cried literally just True. check it out on youtube it's very sad but keep yourself safe shout out to everybody who made the show possible maze our this more is right here there is timo frank there is rose i love we shout out to jc and ronald for coming through to the show thank you so much though virtually but thank you so much for being part of the show i love you mbogi mzima shout out to half louis mbako shout out to mck shout out to b junil biatora it's always a fun time we're gonna see you next week but before we go and you know to our tattoo manze i have to shout them out i have dana mwangi i have john's mapua I have the Santos <laughs> Alta Mwangi Dream Chesa Stephen Mwangi Juguna shout out to each and every one of you Tito Brian Nelson Novita Hillary Keith Hemston you knew what it's always a good time oh shout out to our super director Hemston happy birthday to you we're going to see you again next week with another amazing show for now is uh, bye yeah